Hello everybody, my name is Ian Gibbs, I'm head chef here at The Mill at Gordleton. We've just hosted the Chef's Forum. I produced a little dish on a demonstration using some of the brilliant produ producers we have here with Copper Cress and Foie Royale and Ritter and all that. I produced the Walter Rose fillet of beef. Uh, we did it with a wild mushroom risotto with chanterelles and a Foie Royale creamed it as well. It was beautiful. Great old-fashioned flavours and, and big in your face because we have those beautiful produce. Hello, my name is Mike Logu from Foie Royale. Uh, we're at the Chef's Forum event at the Mill in Goulton with Chef Ian Gibbs. He's just done a presentation of Foie Royale. Uh, Foie Royale is a product that's been in development for seven years. Um, the concept is that as opposed to a foie gras where the product, the birds are force fed to encourage and engorge a liver, um, our birds are raised ethically. Um, they're slaughtered for their meat and their natural sized liver is then collected as a byproduct with the fat and taken to the Institute of Food Technology in Germany where we cellularly break down the fat cells um, and combine them back with the liver cells in the same composition as a foie gras um, and present it as a block. Um, the final part of the process is a pascalization where we put this under 7000 bar and, uh, and then we cook it. So it can be eaten like this uh, cold, 15 minutes out the fridge, or uh, like we're seeing a lot of chefs in the UK now, they're blitzing it or cooking it, putting it into parfaits, canapes, ice creams, um, and using its flavor uh, to enhance their dishes. Foie gras, uh, which was invented, I believe, by the Egyptians in 4000 BC, um, is uh, a method of force feeding a, a goose or a duck to encourage its liver to grow to about 450 grams. Um, this, uh, this is something that uh, we abhor. Um, morally, the British, um, who used to eat a volume of foie gras, um, have stopped eating it. You don't see it very often in restaurants. It was the norm in the 80s to see foie gras on any, any fine, in, a, in most fine dining restaurants. Today, it's a rarity. Um, the same applies in Germany and Holland. Um, and it was as a consequence of that that we said, is there any way that we can produce a product which is ethically raised and tastes as good as foie gras?